Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series, <laughs> and my mind went so blank, four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So this video was inspired by a tweet that I will put up on the screen for you and it was about this planet or plane of existence being um, an alchemical school because oftentimes we've talked before about like it being a hell planet or hell plane and you creating your version of heaven and earth here but then also when I was listening to a Brother Panic video he touched on how when he was talking to Bobby Hemmett one time they were talking about like what this is even for because obviously we know like we're here to expand we're here to learn we're here to grow and all of this kind of stuff but like what's deeper than that what's the real reason why we would choose to incarnate into a plane of existence that is so difficult so traumatic and also where there's like certain beings trying to control everything and manipulate everything and confuse everything. And it's kind of funny that I'm even delving into this because when I filmed Validate Me podcast yesterday with Hannah, we actually talked a lot about this and I'd already planned this video like a couple of weeks ago. So I don't know how they just aligned in <laughs> divine timing as always. But yeah, I wanted to talk about why we're actually here and I wrote down a couple of notes because I wanted to remember what Brother Panic actually said. So he said, what is consciousness? It's transformation. Like when you think about it, we are constantly transforming our minds, our thoughts, our beliefs, our emotions, our experience. Everything is always transforming and expanding and growing. Like when you think of expansion and you think of um, learning, it's transforming, it's changing, it's evolving, it's elevating. They're all kind of similar things. And then when he said who, he said ancient Kemet, the Kemites, which makes sense because they obviously studied death and studied astrology and things like they founded astrology and astronomy and metaphysics and the study of so many things because they wanted to know what happens after death. Like what actually is this place? and why are we here? And then what happens after? And where do we go after? And how do we not come back here so we don't have to keep reliving this? And then he said, why? And he said that Bobby Hemmett said, because of love. And this is something that I've mentioned so many times, but I feel like hearing it from both of them just is full confirmation that like, this is a journey of love as ridiculous and cringy as that sounds. Like, when you think about it, our whole life revolves around relationships. It revolves around interacting with each other. Even if it's like a business or some kind of industry that you're in, you still have to have relationships with other people in order to be successful and get yourself somewhere, you know? Even me filming these videos is about building relationships with you guys and us connecting on similar things, similar, similar interests, similar waves of thought and stuff. So, like, everything is about connection you know it's about coming together and even the disagreements and stuff are still a form of connection in a way so like I just am understanding on a deeper and deeper level every time I delve into this concept or idea is that we are here to experience love we are here to experience joy and not only that but to actually get back to that frequency because obviously when you're here and you go through certain experiences my chair is squeaking and it's really annoying me every time I move it's just irritating me sorry it's like making me lose my train of thought because it's really annoying but anyway so every time we go through a hardship or some kind of negative experience or even a negative emotion, we are always trying to find our way back to love, back to our joy, back to peace, back to happiness, you know, and what is happiness? I feel like happiness for me is experiencing joy in a continuous amount of time, like always experiencing joy or for the most part experiencing and doing things that trigger the feeling of joy and happiness and fulfillment and love and all of those emotions, you know? So when we look at the corruption and all of the difficult things from whether it be something in your personal life, something that's really close to you that's happening that makes you feel fear or powerlessness or anything like that, or whether it be when you look on a global scale and what's happening in the world right now, 
now, no matter where it is that you look, I'm realizing just how powerful we are, you know, like this experience is not happening to you. It's happening because of you, because you are a soul experiencing this life, you know, and because you have this vessel that is literally like a miniature version of the cosmos. Like there's so much technology and divinity and sovereignty in your vessel, in who you are and your soul and your heart and your spirit and your mind and your emotions and just every layer to you there's just so much power there so much sovereignty and so much incredible technology that we can counteract everything that they do you know from whether it be a physical thing a diet related thing something that affects our body whether it be something that affects our minds all of this can be counteracted through us going inwards and tuning into our soul and our calling and what we want and what we need, what will bring us joy, what makes us feel good, you know, what's our soul mission and our soul truth, why are we even here, what are we here to do, when you tap into that and you spend time culminating, what's the word, culminating on that, ruminating on that, I don't know what the fucking word is, but when you sit there thinking about that, <laughs> pondering on that, maybe we'll go with that word, then ideas just start to come to you like thoughts and downloads start to come to you because you're opening your heart to it you're opening yourself up to the answers of why you're actually here and the truth of who you are and everything so even when you think about how many things we have gone through in our lifetime you know like our generation in their 20s even in their teens and even in their 30s our generation has gone through so much change but also so much destruction from the creation of mainstream media to social media to like magazines and those kind of things to even the food industry and fast food becoming a thing to like just so much toxic shit you know like chemtrails the um, the increase in the things that you have to get when you're a kid you know like all of these things that have come about over the last 50 years or so if you think about how much has actually happened how much negative stuff impacts our mood impacts our body and it's functioning impacts so many things and yet look at how many people across the world are waking up to the bullshit that's going on so many people are becoming aware and just questioning things like it doesn't even have to be about levels of who's on what level and who knows more and who doesn't and all of that like that's irrelevant but just the fact that so many people are starting to question things and starting to question themselves and why they're here like what they're here for and why they're so unhappy all of that is happening at a time when we are dealing with so much stress, so much bullshit, so much things that affect our health physically and mentally and emotionally and spiritually, like we're in a spiritual warfare right now, you know, it's a spiritual war. So for us to still come out of the programming and start to question things, even while living amongst this, just shows how powerful we really are and that no matter what happens moving forward, no matter what physically happens, no matter what they do, what agendas get pushed, what anything, no matter of any of that, we are souls in a vessel here to experience this life and they can only harm us in a way that we allow, you know, because you can rewrite your DNA through your mind. You can re rewrite um, everything to do with your body, whether it be food or whatever else affects it. You can rewrite that through visualization, through intention, through magic and ritual and stuff. You can do all of these things because you are that powerful. And there's so many videos about manifesting an ex and manifesting this and that and creating money and a, a dream lifestyle and all of that. But like, if you can bring those kind of things physically into your experience, like you can manifest a, a person to come into your life, then think about what you can do for your body and your health and your emotional health and your mental health. Think about what you can do if you actually put the focus into those things, into manifesting and creating and cultivating those things. And even your connection to your higher self, if we put that focus into connecting to our higher self, 
think about how much we can actually create for ourselves in our own personal lives and transform our lives and just there's just so much possibility and they want us to be in fear they want us to be divided they want us to feel weak and powerless they want us to be angry at the other people that are not aware of this stuff because then we'll blame them and take it out on them instead of actually harnessing our own power and our own like our own personal experience because by focusing on all of the people that are not awake and not realizing anything you're, you're giving your power away because that's where your focus has gone it's gone to other people and now you're not focusing on what you want and on bringing love into this world and in um magnetizing your force field and pushing that out into the world and clearing your energetic space of everybody else's opinions and thoughts and energy you know like we have to do it on a personal level before we can affect change on a mass scale so yeah i hope this inspires you into remembering your own power and your own worth because no matter what anyone else is doing no matter how much they have in their life no how, matter how like no matter how great their life looks you are a soul here for a reason you know like you are equally as powerful as everybody else here and you can create any kind of life that you want and even though we're collectively creating this reality together and there's a lot of hell that's going on here so many of us are here to change that and if you want to change that you have to change it in your own personal life first because think about how much that will affect the people around you when they see you going after your dreams when they see you choosing healthy relationships when they see you cutting off all of these toxic people when they see you improving your diet working out taking care of yourself like that will inspire them to do it for themselves too so being you has such a huge huge impact and all you need to do is be yourself and honestly we can change the world just by being ourselves so yeah i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for listening and watching i really appreciate you definitely check out the description box below because all of my information my music my social media my crystal jewelry because i hand make crystal jewelry it's all in the description box below as well as my phone number because i do send inspirational daily messages and yeah i will see you in the next video thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already bye oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you like me yeah i'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah i think you might i'm the thing you like in my range all white oh yeah i think you might I'm the thing you like, pick my range, oh, I.